Hello, my kinder art friends. Last time we talked all about the element of art, texture. And we learned that texture is the way something looks and feels. And so some examples of textures might be squishy or soft or furry, fuzzy, hairy. There's lots of different textures. And we went on a scavenger hunt and to create a frottage, which is a rubbing to transfer the physical texture to our paper. So now today we're going to finish off our drawing and we're going to be looking at the artist Jasper Johns and be inspired by his alphabet painting to finish off our awesome texture creation. So let's get started. Okay, so I finished finding all different types of textures for my texture scavenger hunt. I used things like the wall and a chair, and this was a picture frame, uh, lots and lots of different things. So today what we're going to do is we're going to finish up our texture paintings. And right now it's kind of hard to see the grid. So you can use a black crayon to outline the grid just so we can see things a little bit better. So I'm just following the lines to define the grid. I'll turn it and do these. Maybe if I can find it. Okay, so now that we can see our grid a little bit better, we are going to be looking at the artwork of the artist Jasper Johns. So you can see here Jasper Johns painting of the alphabet. So he has 26 areas to make one for each letter of the alphabet. We only have 16, so instead of doing the alphabet like Jasper Johns, we're going to be inspired by him and adding letters to our artwork, but we're going to add the letters of our name. So my full name is Emily Jeffries, so in each rectangle, I'm going to start to write my name in all uppercase letters. So, oh, I run out, so I'll just go to the next row and continue. If you wanna leave a space in between your first and last name, you can, or you can add something like a smiley face or some sort of symbol, a heart, something like that to uh, separate your first and your last name. And I still have two symbol or two spaces left over, so I can add some extra little symbols here. If you have a really long name or a name that's longer than 16 spaces, uh, it'll just get cut off and that's okay. If your name is uh, really short, you can try and include your middle name to help fill up this space. So now that we have our name written out on our on top of our textures with a black so that we can really see it, uh, just like Jasper Johns, how he has all of the different letters, we are going to do the wax resist technique like we did with our snowman, but for our scavenger hunt. So we used crayons to find all of our different textures which are made out of wax. And so whenever we put the paint on top, it's not gonna stick. So you can either make your own paint with markers and water, or you can use the watercolors that were on the school supply list. If you can't make a way of your own paint, you can take a picture of your artwork like this and submit it like that as well. So now I'm going to get my water and my color, I wanna make sure I don't put the same color so I can't put green on top of green. It's gonna be hard to see. I wanna pick a color that's going to help it stand out. So maybe I'll put um, this orange. And so whenever I paint, on top, it's not sticking to the area where the crayon is. And so I'm gonna fill in the paint right here on top of my texture. And I'm gonna repeat that step for the whole entire painting. 
All right, friends, so here is mine all complete. You can still see a little bit of the textures that we found going behind um, our paint and our name still stands out because we used crayon and water and wax don't like each other So once you are all done go ahead and take a picture of it and upload it to Schoology. I can't wait to see what they look like Happy creating